Hi, it's Kathy, Kathy Rose Creations. Um, I just thought I'd do an update on some of the little projects I've been working on. Uh, I've been working in my journaling Crazy Island style book, and I did uh, week 19, which is floral fantasy. And basically, I used uh, white paint and glitter glue, a piece of doily, and some bling. And this is a napkin that Gina Aarons had given me. And I um, used a little paint to um, enhance it and some glitter glue. And I put little pieces of wallpaper and flowers that I cut out and some stickers and some dimensional paint um, to kind of make it a fantasy garden, not realistic, but kind of strange, like the pink stems. And then this was week 20, Celebrating Mom. Uh, this is my mother, and can you see that? Yeah, that's my mom. Put a crown on her, put bling on her. Oh, my mother loved her bling. She loved jewelry, and the louder the better, and I kind of enhanced it with some butterflies and some flowers, and I have a little um, image here that actually came from Gina Aarons also. Uh, it says, my mother, a lady, both lovely and bright, and I thought that was appropriate. Oh, and I put wings on her, too, and then... Um, then this was the week, um, I don't remember what it was, what is it, 21, everyone gets the blues, and I painted this with acrylic paint, and then I used a white paint pen, a Sharpie, um, where's my Sharpie, yeah, a white Sharpie, and oops, white sharpie and i drew a face with sad face and tears and another sad face and another one and then i have get over it everyone gets the blues and i did lots of hair that i doodled on her so that's my journaling crazy island style book and I also um, did a watercolor mixed media type thing. And I did a seashore scene. And what I did was um, I watercolor the ocean. And I used one of the templates that um, Gina Aarons had given me and some of my little chipboard birds. And um, I put... A, say, a quote on here, it says, forget, forget not that the earth delights to feel your bare feet and the winds long to play with your hair. And it's by Cahil Gabron. I think I pronounced that right. And I made a little nest with a bird in it. And I, I stenciled a wall and I used um, some jute to kind of trim the wall and then I used acrylic paint to paint the bushes and the grass and I put a little heart on here and some pearls to kind of denote you know maybe shells and the children playing is a little um cardstock image again from Gina Aarons from uh uh, some of the things she had given me, and a little uh, chipboard arrow that I kind of made into like a little children's umbrella. So I thought it turned out pretty good. I mean, I used silver paint and I did a moon and everything. So, okay. And also, I'm still making my handmade notebooks from the toilet paper rolls, and uh, I'm, I've showed them before. Um, 
I can't remember which ones I showed. I think I showed that one. And I made this one for my son. His name is Scott. And I used some, I don't know what this stuff is. It's kind of like a mesh. Oh, I think it's like to keep things from sliding. And again, I covered it with uh, brown paper that I wrinkled up and painted on, stamped on. And this one is um, tissue paper or wrapping paper. I can't remember which. And I painted this with a glossy sealer so that it, it's kind of glossy. And this one, I covered it with um, book pages. And then I um, just took paint on my fingers and dabbed it around. And I put the hair ties on it and then a little charm bling thingy. So those are my notebooks. I think I showed all these. I think I showed this one before too. It's my paper, woven papers. Live life to the fullest. Okay. And let's see. Those are my little notebooks and then I've also um Josie Guido my altered envelopes I'm still on a tear making altered envelopes let's see I've done some that I haven't shown yet um this is one and I used the stamp that Gina had included in the goodies that she sent me and um again I uh this is covered with coffee filters, used coffee filters, and then a little bit of gold paint, and um, then sealed. This one is made out of a napkin that Gina gave me, and it's um, corkscrews through the ages, old-fashioned corkscrews. And so I made this envelope, and I'm going to give it to my sister who likes her wine. Um, she's not a alcoholic. She's enjoys wine. Um, this one is tissue paper and the envelope originally was pink so it was a good fit for this kind of tissue paper and then I stamped on it and then doodled a little bit on it and that one I showed, that one I showed. This one again these are some of the stamps that Gina had given me and I used like a pearlized paint and some um, drywall tape on it and this is uh, one of these white, plain white envelopes. And I used the napkin that Gina had given me. And then I took the paint and I kind of pushed it all around with my fingers and everything. And uh, I really like the way this turned out. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of shiny. Um, let's see, I think I showed those, I showed those, I showed those, okay. Um, then I have some ATCs that I've been working on. Um, this is a napkin that Gina had given me, and I put it on the card, and then these were earrings in my junk box that I cut the backs off and everything and then I glued them down with my favorite glue which is E6000 and um, I think I showed that one I cannot not remember which ones I have showed and which ones I haven't showed but uh, that's my latest one I think I showed all the rest of these so that's a little box of ATCs and I have something else, and hold on a second. Okay, um, I did something new. Um, I have a whole big old box of old CDs, DVDs, and I always like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these things, but I know I'm going to do something with them because they were just too nice to throw away. And I watched this video on YouTube, and it's G's Creations. And his name is Gareth Frewer, F-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E and it's G apostrophe S uh, creations. 
and he did what he is calling artist trading compact discs. And he made some gorgeous compact discs that he altered. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try that. And this one, basically, I, I, this is the way it starts out, is I put some gesso on it. And uh, in the center, I had put a piece of paper and then gessoed over it so that it makes it solid without the hole in the middle. And that's the way these all started out. And this one, this is my favorite. I, wa I gessoed it, and then I watercolored it, and then I um, stamped it with a script stamp and then an Eiffel Tower stamp. And I thought it turned out really nice. I love the colors in that. And then this one is, again, the, one of the napkins that Gina Aarons sent me. And I put some bling along the side. And then I uh, edged it in gold, the gold paint stuff. And then I stamped it. And, well, I put a doily on it and stamped it. And then put gold around the doily. And I was really happy the way that turned out, too. I mean, I thought it looked really pretty. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were cute. So, <laughs> anyhow, um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. I've been working on cleaning up my art room, trying to make it a little more efficient. And um, eventually, when I get it all done, I'll do a video. But anyhow, that's it for now. And I thought I would just share some of the fun stuff I've been working on. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. And if you uh, like this one, give me a thumbs up, please. And everybody, please be nice to each other. And, oh, look, I made a heart. <laughs> Uh, peace out.